Hi everyone, it is James in Japan. It is May 26th, 2024. I'm out walking my puppy and I'm going to make a video on how to understand a Japanese address. Here in Japan, you're going to see the name and then you're going to see a number with hyphens. For example, 1-2-3. One, one being the district and uh, two being the block and three would be the actual building. Sometimes you'll just see two numbers. Uh, for example, 5-25. Five, 5 is the district and 25 is, it, is the actual building or in this case a house. So if you are looking for a house, all you have to do is find a street pole like this and look and you have to know some Japanese. There it says Tamon Danchi. Let me show you a better example. Thanks to modern technology such as Google Maps, everything is easy to understand. You have a map and you'll see the district and the block and even the house, apartment building. Not every Japanese home has their address on their mailbox. They're supposed to have address and name, probably in kanji, on their mailbox. Here's a better example. Okay, so if you are looking for an address, let's say that you've got the right area. You, you just need to find a pole like this. And usually it'll be displayed in kanji. It says, Tarumiku Tamondai Go Chome Ni. So that means District 5, Block 2. So if you check your Google Maps, you'll find this area and then let's say it's someone's house it might be 5-2-1 or 5 or 10 so you just go in that direction okay if you're not sure just walk around sometimes you'll see the exact address on someone's mailbox and other times you won't see anything well Google Maps is pretty accurate it'll show you the house that you're looking for once you plug it in plug in the address all right so hopefully this makes sense and it helps you find your address in japan thanks for watching like and subscribe to my channel